Hi, my lovelies. I hope you're all well. Uh, I'm in my car at the minute. I am just on my way to the craft you love. I'm not on my way. I'm clearly not driving, uh, but I'm leaving in a minute. I'm going to the craft you love birthday. Uh, super, super excited. Katie from Cricket's going to be there, so it'd be lovely to meet up with her. And hopefully, I'm going to get to see a few of you. So that'll be really fun. <laughs> So as you saw from the footage, that was so much fun. It was so lovely. I met two of my followers, which was just amazing. Uh, one of them, Harriet, I've met uh, before, but I got to meet Diane today as well, who is a local. Uh, it was just lovely to meet both these ladies. We had such a giggle. Uh, slightly bad influence on each other, but I think we all know that when we get together, we can all be a bit like that. Uh, I will show you my goodie bag that I got and also what I bought, but I'll probably do that tomorrow when I get home. I'm heading to Hobbycraft at Crawley because although I did uh, some online shopping and uh, used the discount that's going this weekend, I forgot some bits. So I need to go in there and get some bits. And then I need to go to Smythe's, which is next door because it's one of my granddaughter's birthday and I couldn't find anything online that I liked for her. So... I need to stop into Smythe's Super Saw and do that. And then I'm going back to Crafts You Love. Uh, and I'm going for a cup of coffee with the lovely Katie. So for a bit of a natter. Uh, so yes, really a lovely morning. Such a lovely morning. Um, saw her doing some demos. Met some people that were interested in buying some machines. So got talking to them. Uh, really, really a lovely atmosphere. I love Crafts You Love. It's such a lovely, lovely shop. Everyone's always friendly in there. Everyone's there for the same reasons. You know, might be doing different types of crafts but everyone is a crafter so it's really really lovely
So from B&M I got two packs of baubles, I got some gold ones and some red and gold ones. I used these to decorate uh, presents with and I used them to kind of go in photos and also things like the advent calendar that I made I'll add baubles to. So there's lots that I use these mini baubles for and they're great as well, I mean you get 49 in a pack so for £2.49 that is pretty good. Candy canes for a pound each, use these again mainly for photographing items but of course they go on the tree and the kids love eating them so you can never have enough candy canes. A pack of two pillar candles, um, probably going to use these for Halloween. So these I got from Hobbycraft, I got a little snow globe. This is a plastic one and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'll probably do a little scene or something, um, maybe put some fake snow in there or some sequins or I don't know but we'll do something with that for Christmas. I got a glass fillable bauble, there's so much that you can do with these um, and it's a really big one as well so you can make a real feature out of it so yeah just got the one of those and then I was super excited to pick up this dome kind of cloche because I tried to find some last year and I couldn't find any so I'm really excited for this, I'm going to do some sort of scene in it but I don't know if I'm going to use card or if I'm going to try and do something with the knife blade maybe. So I'm not sure yet but I definitely know that I was super excited to see that. So online I'd ordered some of the wire wreaths but when I was in store I found these ones. Um, I don't even know what this is called. It doesn't say. There is a specific name for them but it's like a twig a twig wreath and I got them in two sizes um, so I'll probably do the wire ones for Halloween and the twig ones for Christmas or I don't know but we'll we'll always use them always use them these were half price so I got two um, 18 by 18 shadow box frames and then I got two 25 by 25 centimeter shadow box frames as well uh, Halloween and Christmas they're brilliant for them, there's so much you can do with shadow box frames and as I say they were half price anyway and then with the 20% off, a uh, bit of a bargain so got those. So I got some glitter foam which as you can see has been slightly mullered, that's okay I'll just put them under a heavy book and they'll kind of sort themselves out but these were 80p each and of course again with the 20% off, brilliant so I got gold, green, an orange and a red Definitely use the orange for something Halloween-y and then the other three I'll probably save for Crimbo. I got some red and green ribbon because you can never have enough of that this time of year. I got three new ink pads, I got an orange and a red and then a kind of metallic purple as well. Again, really handy colours for this time of year. I've got these colours in smaller ones but I wanted some big ones and these are a pound each in Hobbycraft so, you know, they go a long way so definitely worth looking at. And then I got some Dovecraft pearl effects, so I got green, purple and red, again perfect for this time of year and I didn't actually, and I knew I didn't have these colours so I picked them up, again these are a pound each and they go a really long way so if there's a sale on, something that's definitely worth looking at. So as always when I go into Crafts You Love I spent far too much money um, but these are all kind of Halloween and Christmas items so you know it all helps except for this but I saw it and I wasn't going to get it and then I saw Katie using it and actually it's really handy so this is the accessory pouch uh, for all your tools I got the mint one because obviously I've got the mint air too I'm going to decorate it with some uh, HTV but actually it's a really really handy tool case so definitely worth getting because it keeps everything in one place and I think it's going to kind of save me some space in my machine storage and also on my um, pegboard as well so I think I'm actually going to put my tools in here from now on. I got some plastic um, light bulb baubles, uh, these are really sweet, there was a demo going on which was showing you how to decorate them. 
So this is some ornament glitter adhesive which is very very similar to Glitter It. Uh, so I thought I'd get some of this just to try it with the glitter and things this year. And what they were doing was actually putting some of the Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder in there. Um, and they were doing other things with inks as well. So I'm really excited to try those. I got the Pixie Powder in Rich Gold and Lava Red. And we're going to sit and play with those in the near future once Halloween's out the way. But yeah, I was really excited with these, so I thought I'd just get a few bits and we can play with plastic, and we can play with glass baubles as well and just kind of see what, what we can create. Of course I had to get some iron on, uh, it would be rude of me not to, so I got some green glitter for Christmas. There is a theme in this video, everything is red, green, gold, orange, uh, purple, all kind of Halloween-y and Christmas. I got some more eye zinc, is ink uh, pigments, so I got bamboo and geranium. Uh, I've got quite a lot of these, but they're all kind of pinks and oranges, so I wanted some different colours, so we're going to be using these a lot in the upcoming future. I got some more Nouveau uh, crystal drops. I use these a lot and these are just really cute autumnal colours so I thought we'd be able to use those. So you've all seen me use the Nouveau mousse but this is a texture paste which is very similar but it's got a slightly different consistency to it. So I thought I'd get it in orange and purple and we can try these with some of our Halloween crafts. I got a Nouveau Aqua Shimmer um, Pen, I really like working with these. So this is the Midas Touch one, uh, which will add a subtle gold shimmer effect. So great for cards and things. So we'll be looking at how you use these in the future. Some tonic card in ruby red. Can never ever have enough of this. And of course, I couldn't go in there without getting some more diamond paste. So I got an orange, a slightly kind of luminous green. And this is kind of like a reddy brown, so very kind of Halloween-y and autumnal colours, so we'll be able to use some more of those. So, my two boxes from Hobbycraft have arrived. Well, I think they're Hobbycraft. That's away. Ooh! Oh yes, so I ordered, oh these are so sweet, I ordered some Christmas fabric. So you've got the snowman there. There's some Christmas trees, uh, the snowman in pink, I love the snowman, and then some more kind of holly and I really like that. There was a deal on these and of course it was the 20% off as well, but these had a deal on them. Um, and then all the cricket stuff was three for two as well. So it worked out really, really good. Um, but I've stocked up on my Christmas fabric, but I saw these and I just fell in love with them. I've got some more Christmas fabric here, so there's some little doveys and then a little house scene. Oh, I like that, that's nice. And then it's all greys and blues, which I really like, greys, reds. I'm into my Scandi fabric at Christmas, I always have been. I really love the rustic Scandi fabric, and I've got a lot of that this year. Um, I mainly buy um, fat quarters, or I'll do fat quarter bundles. I'll do half metres as well, but I tend to kind of like to do the fat quarter sets. And I get those from a whole host of places. I got some wire reefs. I did get some uh, wooden ones at the weekend, but I'd also ordered these wire ones. Some bias binding in orange and green. We're going to be using this next week. I need to get some red. So much for me saying I'm not going to buy anything else between now and Christmas. I do need some red bias binding, so I do have to get that. And then I got window cling because I was asked to do um, a tutorial and a live on window cling and I only had one roll which is extremely shameful for me to admit. So because they were three for two and it was a 20% off as well I got these rolls of window cling. Right well I'd actually forgotten that I'd ordered these and then I bought some in store at the weekend but do you know what I'll always use them. This is my problem you see I forget what I have and haven't ordered. 
some more Cricut felt. This is the carousel sampler. Um, this is really good for Halloween and Christmas. Some more metallic vellum sampler because I'm going through a lot of that at the minute. And another pack of black craft board because again, I'm going through a lot of that at the minute as well. So after all that shopping this week, I have decided to put myself on a craft spending ban. Uh, we shall see how it goes. I have Christmas coming up, we all have Christmas coming up, but Christmas, we've got big family, we've got lots of friends, so Christmas is always very expensive for us. Uh, we're looking at going away as well, so yes, I'm putting myself on a self-imposed craft spending ban. So if I haven't got it, I haven't got it. We'll see how long this lasts, shall we?